Well, welcome to part three of what did God actually take out of Adam to make Eve? Uh, basically, if you've been praying with the Holy Spirit and <laughs> you, you got a pretty good idea, uh, at least you're filled with a whole lot of questions. The thing about it is, you know, look at it with an open mind and don't expect to think that you have the answer because if you think you have the answer you lose that connection with the Holy Spirit and you're not going to see what's happening as a matter of fact I had to pause here for a moment think about it uh, actually I had to load up the word on this computer so I can go back and show you something that really brings up a lot of questions basically when I did this study about five years ago let's just say before 2020 or 2021 uh, before we saw these attacks on God I did not see this I mean it was you know okay it was there but it was confusing I had no idea what it meant but studying it in today's light uh, what can I say uh, not only does God used the Bible to tell us exactly what part of Adam God took out to make Eve. God is also defending himself. This is the type of study that if you had to defend the Bible in front of the Supreme Court, even if the left could expand the Supreme Court to uh, 9 or 13 judges with the wokest of the woke, uh, the ones that deny God, Satan himself could sit on the Supreme Court and you'd be able to take this study, present it to the Supreme Court, and prove beyond any shadow of doubt God exists, the Creator exists, and guess what? If you think you know the Bible, and even if you study this, God is going to show you that, hey, I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. I'm going to show you something you've never seen before and we're going to take a look at this. Basically, uh, first thing I did is, is, is I thought it'd be a whole lot better to open up another word processor and it took me quite some time to put all these things in order. I just made a list of all the key things I put in here. Uh, we looked at rib and uh, so I took out all of the key meetings uh, properly a part of from or out in many in uh, senses uh, I keep on wanting to say appropriation apportation and uh, let me just go to theorsis and see an allocation okay that's what I Everybody thinks it meant. I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay, so rib, here's the definitions of rib. Then we started, uh, I say bone until the bone, uh, an extension of the body, uh, to bind fast, that is to close. Uh, I didn't put that in the. But when we get down to flesh, this is where things start to get strange. We looked at the perdinia of a man. And go, well, what's that? <laughs> so, uh, where do we get that from? Uh, basically, when we looked it up on the internet, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Hang on, I had to download this, but we're going to. Um, where's my? We're gonna copy this out, and we're gonna search this in on the internet and see what the internet tells us for the definition uh, I don't need this Perdina and if you notice it uh, takes us to Perdidum 
for Dendom. And that's the external Gentile organs of a human being, and especially of a woman, usually used in plural. Okay, that's that's pretty strange, and, and I had to kind of take a break. I loaded up the word on this computer so we can take a look at it. And when we look at the word flesh 1320, and I'm going to go back up here. And he slept and took out one of his ribs and closed up the flesh. Okay, I'm going to click on flesh. That's going to give us flesh, 1320 flesh, a body, a person, uh, the external Gentiles. Oh, man. Now, how come this, this new updated concordance uh, says it's the Gentiles of a man, but when we look at the internet, uh, Merriam-Webster tells us it's the organs of a woman. This is really strange. The question is, what bone did God take out of Adam to make Eve? Well, I think you're kind of figuring this out now, but we're going to get together and we're going to take a look and compare all of these things and put all of these words together that uh, we used off of, uh, we used flesh and then we got into this, this, we went back in the rib, remember when we looked up uh, rib up here and we went to 4480 and then we went into it's from 4482 they gave us all these extra Hebrew words to look up and we looked up all these extra Hebrew words okay so we started looking them up uh, I copied them over here and we started looking them all up from H68 and I, and I copied all of these to build a stone uh, to build a stone and I'm not going to go through all these uh, father of gathering okay <clears throat> so we looked up all these words what do we got to build a stone uh, what does a stone remind us of Peter was a stone uh, you know, there's a couple of stories in the Bible that that cornerstone is Christ. Okay, build a father of gathering, father. So what part of Adam has to do with a father, or is related to a father? To gather for any purpose, a, a coin. I got no idea why they put in coin. Maybe it's to explain man's gathering capability, responsibility with to his family. But we got fruit, a green plant, green plant that is a young ear of grain. In other words, they're they're talking about the seed here, and it goes right back to father of strength. We're, we're following along in the order that the original Strong's, the original Strong's Concordance told us to study. And then it goes into something rather strange. It goes into wretched, destruction, wander away, that is, lose oneself and perish. I looked at this study a couple of years ago. I couldn't figure out why they put these all in here, but uh, when we look at the H622, it says to gather for any purpose. To gather for any purpose. That puts us right here in our collection. It also says to take away, that is remove, destroy, leave behind, put up, restore, etc. Man, what does that little etc. mean? Okay, I'm going to copy this out over here. And we're going to put this in 
underneath here and I'm just gonna take this bolt off of here because we're just gonna keep this in mind to take away remove destroy leave behind put up restore doesn't that kind of explain what we need to do these days and doesn't this fit in with the wretched destruction wander away that is lose oneself okay we're gonna we're gonna go down over here and take a look at where we got these words wretched from and everything okay wretched destruction to perish the dash means it was translated into King James's parish. It's an active particle from H6, which means to wander away, that is lose oneself by implication to perish. So basically this, this, this brings us to the end of our study and the end of our study to wander away that is lose oneself isn't that what the left is trying to do to us and, and and what happens if we follow the instructions of the left and everybody has sex changes what's that gonna do it's gonna we're all gonna perish as a human race uh translated as break destroy back when they translated to King James they had no idea the left would be doing this stuff to us uh, but what else can I explain on here you know you, you you got the collection of all of these words you know pray about it put it all together the rib is properly a part of from or out in many senses Okay, pay attention to this stuff. Uh, what does it mean by many senses? Or a part of? Okay, so then we've got this Gentiles, a man or a woman, that's at that contrast today, whether we use the old definition that's thousands of years old, which is now changed into female genitals, which, I mean, in a modern Webster dictionary. So we got to build a stone, to build, father of gathering. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. This should be telling you right away what was removed from Adam to make Eve, uh, to gather for any purpose. And together for any purpose, it fits right in with what's happening today. The left is trying to take away, it's trying to remove, it's trying to destroy, it's trying to leave behind everything that we've learned, all our morals, everything to put up, to, and also to restore. We've got these related words that are contradictory. And this is where, where we really need the Holy Spirit. And then we see this, et cetera, at the end. Okay, there's more to it than, than what the eye sees. We've got fruit, green plant. This is all regeneration, the seed. Okay. When we're talking about a man, a father, everything, where does the seed come from? The father of strength. We've got a lot of questions. I'm going to leave the answers between you and the Holy Spirit, but we can see that there's a lot going on with here. God saw all of this coming. God knew all of this is coming. Nothing surprised God. And now that you all know what part of Adam God used to create Eve, and how God saw all of this coming, it's like God is a superior being. And he's going to reveal things at the proper time. What more can I say? We're going to leave it at that.